Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Babita and in this video, I will be talking about inferior PI. When do we do an inferior PI and why do we do it? So to give a very straightforward answer, inferior PI is done to avoid pupillary block glaucoma in silicon oil filled globes. So what is pupillary block glaucoma and why are silicon oil filled eyes susceptible to developing a pupillary block? We know that aqueous humor is produced by the ciliary body which is located in the posterior chamber of the eye. From the posterior chamber, this aqueous humor passes through the pupil and flows into the anterior chamber and then it is drained out of the eye through the angle of the anterior chamber. Suppose this passage of aqueous humor from posterior chamber to anterior chamber is blocked by say a reactionary membrane as in cases of uveitis, then the aqueous humor will not be able to flow into the anterior chamber and it will start accumulating in the posterior chamber of the eye. Now since this is a closed space, the continuous production of aqueous humor in the posterior chamber would push the iris forwards and this would block the angle of the anterior chamber which in turn would block the drainage of aqueous humor and the intraocular pressure will rise and this is known as pupillary block glaucoma. So the treatment in such cases is to do a PI. PI stands for peripheral iridotomy. We create an opening in the peripheral part of the iris and this would allow the aqueous humor to flow from the posterior chamber to the anterior chamber. So the pressure on the two sides of the iris will be maintained and equilibrium will be reached and the outflow of aqueous humor will be maintained. Now what happens in silicon oil filled globes? First of all, when do we put silicon oil inside the eye? Silicon oil is a tamponading agent that is injected into the vitreous cavity during retinal detachment surgery. It helps in keeping the retina settled for a long time and reduces the chances of a re-detachment. Now suppose this patient had a retinal detachment and silicon oil was injected at the time of surgery and this patient is aphakic. Now this is a very important point. If the patient is aphakic, then the silicon oil that was put in the vitreous cavity would come in contact with the posterior surface of the iris and cause a pupillary block by the mechanism we just learned. So to avert this condition, we need to create a PI. Now the question arises that why specifically an inferior PI? Because most of us have seen a PI in the superior part of the iris, suprotemporal or supranasal. So an inferior PI is done because the specific gravity of silicon oil is less than that of aqueous humor, which means that silicon oil is less dense. It is lighter than aqueous humor and therefore it would float up. So this silicon oil could block a superior PI. That is why an inferior PI is created because it won't get blocked by silicon oil. And thus the aqueous humor would pass into the anterior chamber and get drained by the angle of the anterior chamber and silicon oil induced pupillary block glaucoma would be averted. In case of a phacic or a pseudo phacic patient, such a situation is unlikely to arise because silicon oil would stay housed in the vitreous cavity. Unless of course there is a zonular dialysis in which case the silicon oil could migrate into the anterior segment. So I hope that now you know when and why an inferior PI is created in the eye. If you found this video useful then do like it and share it with your friends and colleagues. And if you want to see more such educational videos then please subscribe to my channel to support free education. Thank you very much.